Hi, in this video, we're gonna be trying out this coffee. So I've had this before, it's really, really good. It's Starbucks Espresso Roast. And this is a dark roast and it smells great. It comes in this big, big bag. Oh, it smells really, really good. And it smells even better when it's done. So it's actually done. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the coffee, pour it out so you can see it. And it's kind of funny because I drink all kinds of different coffees, but my cup actually says Starbucks on it. So coincidental that it's the same brand. All right, I'm gonna grab my little mitten here and I'll bring over my little coffee pot and we'll try it out. So I make this in one of these. This is uh, called the stove top percolator. I suppose you can make it different ways, but this is just the way I've always made it since I was starting to drink coffee. I mean, I've been, I've been drinking coffee since I was a kid. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it smells really, really good. So what I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of milk. Um, I normally don't drink it um, just by itself. Some people do, they'll add like milk and sugar, but um, I usually add milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some milk to it. And it smells so much better than the coffee I was drinking before. I, I don't recall the brand. It was just some other brand that I had purchased. And this just smells so much better. I mean, just, wow, right? I guess because it's Starbucks, right? Some people put sugar or honey. I usually just milk and coffee and I'm good to go. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. Mmm. Really smooth, not bitter. Um, and it smells so good, right? It smells so good. So I think if you're looking for like a good coffee, ah, oh, it smells so good. It's ridiculous. This is one I definitely recommend. Again, this is the espresso roast and it's dark roast. It says, Notes of rich molasses and caramel. Let me just try it again, just to make sure that it has those notes. Very faint. It's really, really smooth. Mmm, so good. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's Starbucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. Just one more thing I thought I should mention. This is a 1.7 pound bag of coffee, so you're getting a lot of coffee. Also to seal it, what you can do is I use clothespins. So you see, this doesn't really seem to have uh, a way to seal it. Um, so you can just fold it, okay? And then you can take some clothespins. I use these for everything. So clothespin, clothespin, clothespin. And then you can seal it and you're good to go. Another option is if you have a container, you can store it in that. But this is a lot of coffee, right? It's 28 ounces, 1.75 pounds. And that's the reason I bought this. It's a lot of coffee and it's a good brand. So. Yeah, if you're looking for a lot of espresso coffee, I think this is a great choice. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.